Hi everyone, we're going to show you how to play Minar. First, you must register your username and email address. Uh, once you have done that, don't forget to check your registered email for verification. And that's it. As simple as that and you can start to play. First, um, you click on Minar application icon and wait for a few seconds as you enter the loading page. Once you're in, the first thing you see is the map of the location around you, all right? And Minar stones will start to pop up. This Minar stone contains of what they call coins and points. Your mission is to collect them as much as possible in exchange for rewards. I will explain about rewards later. The yellow circle here is your radius. This is the area of which you can mine the Minar stones. The radius will move with you as you walk around and explore your area. To mine for Minar stones, the Minar stones have to be inside the radius. You cannot mine all of the other stones outside the radius. You need to walk towards it or approach it. Okay? You can start mining for the Minar stone by selecting one of the stone and as you can see, there's a red bar on top of the stone. All you have to do is tap on it repeatedly until it breaks and the red bar on top of the stone disappears. Mm. There you go. So each time you break a Minar stone, you will get a, an experience point and one lucky draw ticket. Okay, um, on top of your screen, as you can see there, um, just beside your avatar is your experience point. I have 510 experience point and I'm level 4 right now. To increase uh, or level up to level 5, I am required to accumulate up to 2000 um, experience point. Um, as you can see here also, there are different type of colors. There is a different colors of stones, right? Each color represents different level of difficulty. Uh, the blue color stones is the hardest to break. It takes longer time for you uh, or more effort for you to break it. However, the higher the difficulty level of the stone, the more coins and points are inside it. So it's going to be worth it. Okay, let's try again. Let's try the green color stone right now. All you have to do is just select on it and click on it repeatedly. Mm. There you go. If the stone uh, inside consists of a um, coin or points, you have this advertisement. All you have to do is just click on the X button to close uh, the advertisement. And you have to use the augmented reality feature to explore the area around you and find a treasure box. So it's 360 degree, so you can go up, down, you know. Oh, uh, and you have to point directly to that target and allow the treasure box to open and you can collect your coins and points. So Minar coin is very rare because one coin, you can exchange it to 30,000 Minar points, okay? Minar points are relatively easier to get compared to Minar coins. Just click OK. Yep, I get 20 experience point and one lucky drop point. So each time I I break a Minar mm -hmm. stone, I get an experience point. And how many experience point? It depends on the color of the stones. Okay. Um, on top of the right hand corner, uh, there's a Minar circle, the logo. That is the menu button. Okay, uh, inside the menu, there is inventory, repair, shop, reward, and option. In let's, let's check out one by one. Inventory. Inventory uh, basically is all where you, your purchase items is located. Okay, I bought a Say Lord um, Minar tool. So you can buy different type of tools and it's all going to be inside this inventory. And on top of your screen, as you can see, uh, just one touch base on that. That is uh, the panel where you can 
uh, find out how many coins and how many points and how many lucky draw tickets have you collected. The M icon is your coin icon and the blue color one is the Minar points icon and the clover leaf green color icon is the lucky draw tickets. Uh, just want to explain to you a little bit of lucky draw ticket is uh, you have to accumulate that every single time you break a Minar stone mm. as you can see here. There, one lucky draw ticket which allow you to be eligible to participate in the monthly lucky draw event and they have grand prizes for first prizes second and third prizes um, so the more you play the more you mine for minar stone the more lucky draw tickets the more chances for you to win pretty much it um, okay let's get back to the menu um, the repair menu this repair menu um, allows you to repair your Minar tools because each of your Minar tools has uh, what we call the um, the durability point. Okay, let me show you. A shop. Okay, uh, this is all the tools that you can purchase from the shop, right? Um, there's a sh there's this example chaos. Let's take a look at the chaos tool. There is this shield icon. This twenty point. Those are the durability point so each item or each tool the dur durability point can drop to zero if it's dropped to zero you have to go to the repair menu and repair your tool to start the using the tool to mine for minar stone again okay as simple as that so in uh, back to shop there are different types of minar tools or hammer pretty much it and it depends on your level you know i'm level four i can't even purchase oh see I, i'm trying to purchase the uh, if i try to purchase the higher level uh, minar tool i'm my level is too low they don't allow me to purchase this item so it's based on your level like the highest level like grand duke minar tool you can only purchase this when you're level 80 okay the more advanced minar tool the more power it has and the more durable durability level it has okay so if they have more power then you'll be able to break those higher difficulty level minar stones uh, with less effort of course okay and the most exciting part is actually the reward menu this is where you can redeem your minar coins or minar points so as of now um, Minar allows you to redeem your points and coins um, for a top-up credit, like a phone credit, so to speak. So all you have to do is to input your phone number in this bar. Let me try to put my number. Then they will identify for you your um, mobile subscriber or the, the provider, I'm sorry and you can choose with between how many credit would you like to purchase the 1000 10000 25000 rupiah 50000 to 100000 rupiah for example i want to top up my credit um, 1000 okay all i have to do is just click buy and wait for it to load um, and there you go are you sure you want to buy credit for 5592 points and i have nine 59k points so yeah sure why not i just click, click buy and it will start to process it okay once you're done you can just click thank you and you can check your transaction status at your profile page which can be found in the profile menu by clicking your avatar on your top left hand corner your avatar menu by clicking your avatar and go to the activity lock and click credits okay um, if your state is still pending it should be in yellow color and once it's successful it would turn you know to green color and it's stated success so well Minar is upgrading the rewards not only by phone credits but there will be more attractive rewards coming up such as discounts vouchers to name a few and the last but not least is the option. This is where the sound is.
turn off the sound if you don't like it or you can also turn off the vibration Minar is available for download at Google Play only for Jakarta and Greater Jakarta region as of now but Minar will be expanding worldwide sooner or later this is version 1.0 bear in mind there will be more version coming up so that's it that's Minar 101 for you. Stay tuned for more update. You can check out for news and updates at Minar website um, at www.getminar.com or follow their Instagram page uh, getminar. So good luck, have fun, and thanks for watching.